Remember when you were in elementary school and everyone participated in the science fair? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the grown-up version of the science fair, when you make a scientific research poster. Poster sessions are a regular feature of any professional conference. And poster presentations are also used in academic settings to highlight student work. In these spaces, individuals present their research on printed or digital posters. The idea is that the viewer can browse the displays and talk to the presenter if they have additional questions. Presenters also benefit by sharing their research broadly, engaging their peers, and contributing to professional discourse. Overall, the purpose of a poster session or presentation is to communicate clearly the latest findings, insights from the field, or student work. Getting accepted to present a poster is an excellent first step to getting your research recognized and helps your professional development within the field. A scientific research poster is a tool for the presenter. In an ideal setting, presenters will be able to engage meaningfully in the conversation with individuals viewing their work. It is important to review the guidelines of the conference or event you're presenting at. Each may vary on what they would like the poster to include. In cases where judging takes place, you may also want to consider the rubric and what the judges are looking for. Remember, this is an opportunity to showcase yourself and your work. There are a variety of viewers and their degree of interest or time may vary greatly. It is important to be concise and clearly indicate the main points of your work. The future of scientific posters is evolving. The cookie cutter formula of displaying the abstract, introduction, methods, results in plain text heavy format is changing. This is the result of honest questioning about the purpose of research posters, applying user experience theory to resolve cognitive overload and brave presenters willing to take a chance to do something different. If you haven't already, I would recommend following hashtag betterposter on social media to see what others are trying. For context, the hashtag betterposter movement was first presented by doctoral student Mike Morrison in 2019. To summarize his approach, he recommends these two golden rules. One, don't put things on your posters people will ignore. And two, people will ignore most things. We hope you found this introductory video helpful. I'm Lorraine Sheldon from the library. Thanks for watching. You can also connect to more resources by visiting the library or Center for Academic Performance Writing website. For more information, check out our full series on scientific writing, poster design, and professional presenting.